so today I am back for another video and today's gonna be another foundation first impression and review as you guys all know I love doing these types of videos because I just feel like they're so helpful to other people um, to just find their foundation for like their skin tone and their skin type so today's video is going to be on the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation um, this is what it looks like in the box I did get this online so I'm not too, too sure about the shade I did think it was a bit too dark when I swatched it on my hand but we'll just see when we put it on the face so it feels quite liquidy and this is what the bottle looks like it's like really really like tiny like so is my hand so I do think that the price of this foundation is around 27 to 30 pounds but I did get it for 20 pounds on feel unique because it was an offer um, I think it is still on offer at the moment so go check now I'll leave a link in the info box if I can so I got the shade Bare Honey and it's quite good because on their on online they have this picture where for each skin tone they have the shade that they recommend and they have um, ladies with the actual skin tone on the picture so that was quite helpful I was kind of hesitating between two shades but I did get Bare Honey so we'll just see how it looks and it does say to shake well before using it so I'm going to shake well by the way you guys have been asking for a hair tutorial on like these braids um, I will get one up soon um, don't worry it's really easy to be honest and some of you were saying that because your hair's so thin you can't do it but my hair my hair strands are quite thin and it's hard to like manipulate sometimes so I'll show you how to do it don't worry <laughs> so I am going to moisturize my skin using my Garnier moisture match cream I'm also going to apply some Smashbox primer water on one face oh this is what it looks like Apparently there is a brush that comes with this but I don't know I've seen the brush and I've seen people say it's kind of weird and they don't end up using it. Um, I'm just going to use it with my beauty blender. So the applicator is like this, it's like a drop, it's kind of similar to the MAC face and body one. So this is my MAC face and body and that's the actual foundation. It's quite similar and even the consistency of it is quite similar. So I'm just going to apply some on my hand. So that's the shade. It's quite liquidy. So I'm just going to dot this on my face. Kind of has a funny smell as well. It smells like Play Doh. Oh gosh, sorry about the whole screaming. Oh, this foundation really smells like Play-Doh, I'm not even joking. I don't mind it, but it's kind of an unusual smell to have in a foundation. So my first impression on this is that it is quite glowy. But I just feel like it's not blending out evenly. The coverage I would say is medium. You could definitely build up to a full, I think. So I've just zoomed in a bit for you guys, but I on camera it looks nice I don't know let me just see up close no it's actually really good I mean I would say this foundation is alright for like every day like on my nose there's no foundation what the hell So I've just finished applying the foundation and I kind of like it. I don't know why I'm like not 
super happy about it. I don't know why, but it does look alright on the skin. I mean, it's quite glowy. It's obviously a serum foundation. Let's just read what's, what it says on the box to see if I agree with it or something. Um, it says it's a tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one. This ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage, a natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful skin while delivering a noticeably, noticeably brighter more youthful appearance. Made with the bare minimum ingredients it's like nothing you've ever felt before. Okay so there's one thing that I have to say like when you touch this like the actual foundation it feels kind of funny. Like, it's not like any other foundation that I felt. I mean, I don't know, it just feels different. There's nothing wrong with that, but it does kind of feel f different to other foundations. Um, and it's quite good that it says that it's a skincare serum. Like, I love, I just like any skincare things to help my skin look better over time. So, it's a good thing to have, like, a skincare, like, feature in a foundation, if you get what I mean. Um, so that when you're wearing your foundation every day, it kind of, it's kind of helping your skin at the same time. Um, and yeah, it is ultra thin, like the fluid, when you apply it, it's super thin, the liquid's not thick at all, it's very runny. Um, but I would say the coverage is medium and definitely up to full if you do build it up. Um, and yeah, I don't know, at first it was blending kind of funny, but then it was fine. I mean, I do kind of see like some patchy areas. So yeah, so far it's alright, like it's fine, I like it, it doesn't, it feels like you have nothing on the skin to be honest and it's just like the application, like it's kind of plain patchy on this side, I don't know why, but it's fine. I'm just going to quickly go do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So, so far I am quite liking it, I mean the rest of my makeup did apply nicely on, this, on the foundation and it's not giving me any smile lines yet, which is a, always a plus for me um, and yeah it's just really evened up my skin tone and I would say that this is a foundation that I don't mind wearing to school and like on an everyday basis because um, you can definitely get like a really light coverage if you apply the tiniest amount but I did apply like kind of I did kind of apply, apply two layers I would say but I do I do like it I mean there's nothing wrong and I didn't apply any highlight and it's super glowy like I don't even need any highlight to be honest and I'm kind of scared to apply some but um, we'll just see how it goes through the day. So far I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because I like everything apart from the way it applied first of all. Um, I should try it with a brush one day but yeah so far it's an 8 out of 10 so I'll be back later on today. It's now 10.47 so I'll be back I don't know around like 4 or something or even later I won't I don't know we'll see. So I'm back again to check up and it is literally now 8.38. I don't have my phone on me but it is 8.38 at the moment and it's been quite a while. I think it's been over nine hours now which is quite a long time and it's more or less like the average time someone keeps a foundation on their face. Um, I would say around eight hours. I haven't touched up or anything because as you all know already, because I think I've mentioned it before, I never carry makeup on me. I never do touch ups or put powder or whatever. I just don't do that. I just put makeup on my face and then it has to last all day long. Um, I don't really like touching up and reapplying makeup on top of makeup. I don't know why, it's just how I am. But um, looking at this foundation, like when you look at it, it's fine. It, it looks really nice. I mean, like it's it's fine it hasn't really given me any fine lines because the foundation is quite thin and light I just feel like in some places it has faded away and it's quite patchy to be honest I did wear this for like nine hours and I went to school I was in the rain but it wasn't pouring or anything it was just basically drizzling and obviously that goes on my face I don't mind it but Probably that's why it's gone a bit patchy. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. I mean, I do like it, but it's not perfect. Like the NARS Sheer Glow or the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I mean, I need to show you what it's done around my nose. So I'm really up close and personal now, but you guys need to see what this foundation has done to my nose. I mean, it's gone really, really dry. I really hope you can see, because I can't see it on the screen right now, but hopefully when I edit this, you can see. It's just so dry and it's gone patchy around my nose. I mean, on the rest of my skin, I don't know if you can see, it's fine. It has gone away a bit, like 
and you can kind of see my veins there I don't know why I have veins on my cheeks but I don't know it's just like it's caused my nose to be dry I would say though that this foundation is quite glowy because it's kept my face quite glowy everywhere else but it's just that it kind of dried me out around my nose area maybe it's because of the rain Maybe it's because I applied it with a sponge and that this foundation doesn't go well with a sponge. I don't know. I need to give it another go. But for now, I'll, I'm giving it around like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It's not the perfect foundation. I mean, it's good. But I would wear this to school and stuff. But I just, for like an event or like when I'm going out, I wouldn't wear it. I mean, I prefer my Nars Sheer Glow, my double Estee, Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear, or even my Revlon Color Stay and my L'Oreal True Match. Those are like my top four foundations so I feel like this is not up there with them but yeah I'm just trying to be honest I mean I do like it the shades all right and I will let you guys know in my future tutorials if I do prefer it better with a brush and stuff so just give me some time but for now it will be around the six or seven out of ten um, the price is all right I did get it on offer but I do not think that 27 pounds is worth this foundation you can get a much better foundations for three pounds more added to the actual value of this foundation like the double wear or the Nasha glow like those are around 30 pounds you can get a really good foundation for around the same price so I don't think it's worth the money to be honest but I'm just being honest here guys I, that's why I do these reviews <laughs> um, but yeah um, I don't think that's all I have to say um, but Overall, it did last quite well for 9 hours. I mean, I will say that this is an alright foundation of like the everyday, like if you're going to school and stuff. Um, but yeah. So I really do hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments what other foundations you would like to see me review. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you then guys. Bye.